Jerry, how does a person get started in the process of buying a home? And how long is it going to take them to buy one if they, if they started right now? The first step is truly to get pre-qualified. That's when you find out what kind of loan works best for you, what kind of interest rate you can qualify for, how much money you're going to need down, how much your closing costs are going to approximately run you. And they can run you scenarios based on different sales prices of what your payment can be so that you can figure out which sales price makes you the most comfortable based on what your payment's going to ultimately end up to be. Once you get pre-qualified, uh, then we would sit and talk about where you want to live, what you want in your next home, square footage, age, pool, no pool, what are your criteria? Then I would set up a search based upon your criteria in the areas you've selected, and you would receive emails uh, on a regular basis, sometimes two or three a day, depending on when a new home comes on the market that fits your criteria. Then you let me know what you want to take a look at. And I do some research. I make sure they're still on the market. We get everything set up and we go look. Then we can really start eliminating what you truly like and dislike. That's how I can figure out what you're looking for in a home is when I go to show you homes. Because I can hear the things you go ooh and ah about and the things you go, oh, I don't like that. So we get the looking process going. Most buyers can find their home in the first 10 homes. Some can't. I've had some walk in the first four and then we were done. So that determines that, you know, that's a variable there that we have no way of knowing how long it would take. But once we get past that and I truly get you under contract, you can be in your home in 30 to 45 days. Let's go back just for a moment about the number of homes that it takes you to uh, to find a home for a, for a buyer. If you've shown 15 homes to a buyer and you haven't sold them on anything yet, you've you've missed something, right? Well, either they're being unrealistic with what what they can spend, what it gets them. Uh, sometimes I have people come from other parts of the state that are not familiar with the way our homes are here. You know, they want a basement. They want this. They want that. We reevaluate after we've looked at a bunch of homes. If we're not finding it, and I feel that we've been in some that truly fit what they said they wanted, then we revisit uh, what they're looking for, and we go over the criteria again. And sometimes they have to give up on some things that just aren't realistic for the price point they're going to be in. Uh, right. Sometimes we bump that price up. Bidding higher than the list price, just so you can receive a, a favorable response from a seller. That's really important. That is, in fact, driving prices up, correct? That is partially do due to that, yes. Um, you have to be careful that you don't overbid and you can't appraise. So there's other things you can do. Appraisals always. Yeah, there, you yes. can offer to pay the title policy, which that bottom line is what the seller's looking at. He wants to net the most, and there's things you can offer to pay in that offer that would net him more than someone who just comes in with a higher price. But the, the prices are being driven up by we have little supply for the amount of buyers that we have right now, and we have more and more homes going for more and more money. And that is what agents and buyers can see when those closings are put into the MLS. 